Police in West Dallas swarmed the area around 92nd and Lincoln early Sunday morning where they found 42-year-old Gabriel Sanchez shot to death. His door had apparently been kicked in, a bullet hole still visible in the door. We've learned the accused shooter is 20-year-old Zachary Hayes, the same man shot by deputies after he fired into a car on the freeway in central Wisconsin, killing a woman. The motive for both shootings still not clear, and if they know, West Dallas police aren't shedding any light on it. So far, the only connection appears to be that Hayes lived in the same building as Sanchez. A neighbor tells us the suspect was living in this apartment here, and since the shooting, you can see nails have been placed in the door, sealing it. One here, another down here by the lock. Zachary Hayes' 30-year-old brother, Jeremy Hayes, is also under arrest, held on a felon in possession of a firearm charge. 12 News has learned both of them have criminal records, Zachary for battery and receiving stolen property, and Jeremy for burglary and escape. Now, the sheriff's office in Dane County says their 34-year-old brother was also with them at the time, but he's not being identified because of a cognitive disability. As to the motive, again, remains a mystery. One neighbor, though, telling me tonight uh, that Zachary Hayes did break into his apartment as well, looking for his brother, Jeremy, just before the shooting took place. Again, one of the many stories that police are trying to sort out now as they try to figure out what the motive was, what the reason was for this crime spree. Live near 92nd and Lincoln in West Dallas, Nick Bohr, WISN 12 News.